Good morning. I'm John the Bearded Welshman. Welcome to my porch. Early, early Saturday morning. Obviously before the sun comes up. This is what I do every morning. I come out here on the porch. Read. Read my Bible. Watch the news. Scroll through my phone. Today's coffee. Caramel. Maple caramel macchiato. Black of course. Been a great week. Hope all's been well with you. Before we get started, I want to thank all the new subscribers on here. Last video, I asked if you like, hit the button, subscribe. Then we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. We actually jumped up over 20 since the last video. So thank you and welcome. I appreciate your uh, subscribing and watching the channel. So I love these quiet mornings out on the porch. World, most of the world's still asleep. People are just starting to wake up and Saturday mornings it's even more quiet. Because there's no cars whizzing by for people rushing to go to work early in the morning. It's a cool morning. I enjoy the cool mornings. Um, I like the cool fall mornings. They warm up to about 65 degrees during the day. Yeah, I like those days. That's a perfect day for me. It's a little windy out this morning, so and that's fine. We got rain moving in. It's going to rain pretty good today. Pretty much all day. I can tell because my sinuses bother me. So, just been a really good week at work. Work's busy. I'm glad to be working. I enjoy what I do. A lot of math. I'm the kid that hated math in school. Seems to be all I do all day long, so which is funny. Kind of ironic, if you ask me. A lot of times when I come out here, I do a lot of reflecting, a lot of reflection time. Think about the past memories. contemplate the future think about what's going on in the world crazy world we live in right now things are very unstable but I'm not worried about it um, if I spent all my time worrying I wouldn't be living and I don't want to be like that. And neither should you. Because in the end, God's in control. And He is sovereign, and what He allows, He allows. So, beard's coming in good. Camera's a little high. Let me see if I can get that lower. Beard's coming in good. I'm letting it grow long long as I can stand it. 
the longest I had it was about four years ago. It was about another, it was about down to here. Uh, when we went to Nashville. If I can find a picture, I'll put one up on here. But I don't know if I can still have any pictures of that. I decided to just let it go. Because I like a long beard. And it hides my double chin. <laughs> No, I don't think I have a double chin. I don't know. I haven't looked. I haven't seen it in a long time. Because I've always had a beard. I've had a beard since... 2002. Before that, I had a goatee. When I could grow a beard, I grew a beard once when I was young. Really young. Me and my brothers, we all did together. We actually, I have a picture somewhere. It actually looks, we look, looks pretty funny looking at it now. And then uh, did the mustache and goatee thing for a while because that was the 90s. It was the thing to do in the 90s. And then I decided to grow a beard. And I've had a beard somewhat of length for about four, four years or so now. Used to keep it trim. And then I started growing it long and I decided I really like it. I like to sit out here, drink my coffee, in a little while the birds will be singing, and I love to just listen to them, sometimes you can hear the squirrels, they do that little, that noise, that's annoying, <laughs> but the birds are great, to listen to the birds. Here comes the rain. You can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it hitting off the metal roof. It's what we were waiting for. But it's always good to sit out. I like it. I like the air. Fresh air. I spend, well, I spend about an hour and a half in the mornings out here before work. On the weekends, I'm out here about two hours in the morning. Then when I come home at night from work, I come out and uh, eat dinner. I come out and I sit out here another two hours or so. Never knew the value of a front porch until I, until I bought a house. I had one, and this is what one of the, this is one of the things that drew me to the house. It had a front porch. Always wanted a front porch, and uh, I'm always out on this front porch in the heat, in the cold. It doesn't matter. In the bitter, chilling winter days, I'll sit out here with a blanket over my legs, nice big warm coat, cup of coffee, and enjoy the weather. In the heat, I bought a portable fan. It's an outdoor fan. Excuse me, I'll turn that bugger on, because this wall back here doesn't allow a breeze to go through. In the summertime, it's not good. In the wintertime, it's real nice, because in the wintertime, I set my chair up where this chair is right now. Blocks me from the wind when it's windy out, and I can stay a little bit warmer, but I enjoy my front porch. I think every house ought to have one. Um, it's a great way to spend some time you can read you're away from the television you can sit out and you can read you can talk or you can just quietly sit and listen sometimes you can take a nap depends on depends on um, what you're, what, how you're feeling well that's all I got for this morning.
Hope you all enjoy your day. Have a great weekend. I know I will. I'll be sitting out here listening to the rain in a little while. Which I love about the metal roof. Gets loud, but I like it. And uh, get on with my weekend and just relax. Again, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate uh, you watching the channel for all the support. Remember, God loves you. I love you. God bless. Light them up.